In the forests of eastern North America, something troubling is happening in the natural world. An insect invader is taking over. This striking bug is the lanternfly, a creature from Asia that has been introduced into the U.S. and it has found a favorable habitat in your backyard. It's going to be my goal to try to hunt one of these insects down and examine the consequences of this invasion. Welcome to Nature Tales. I'm Nick, and today I'm in New Jersey, which is ground zero for the lanternfly invasion. These insects have become quite common, so it didn't take much searching for me to stumble onto one. All right, there's what I want. That's it, right on that siding is a spotted lanternfly. I'm gonna try to get close, hopefully I can get him. Okay, okay, here we go, here we go. Oh! Ugh. That was so quick. Okay, I see him, I see him. Alright, this is one of my big targets when I came to New Jersey. I really wanted to see one of these, so I never got one, gotten to see an adult before. This is the spotted lanternfly. And if you live in the Northeast, you probably know what these are. They're an invasive species that came over from China. They were first discovered in Pennsylvania in 2014, and from there they've spread to many Northeastern states, and I think their southernmost range now, I'm pretty sure, is North Carolina, so they're still spreading. Now, the first question you probably have is, what is a spotted lanternfly? I mean, the obvious answer is that it's some kind of fly, but that's incorrect. It's not a fly. You can tell that because look, it has, flies have one pair of wings. These have two pairs, so it's not a fly species. Instead, they belong to a family known as plant hoppers. Most plant hoppers are tiny creatures that can often be seen jumping from disturbed vegetation, but lanternflies are larger than most of their tiny cousins. And since they have few predators in North America, they can spread unchecked. Like most of their plant hopper cousins, they can't really fly, or they, at least they don't really fly very well. They hop and then they sort of flutter for a couple yards, then they alight down, and then they do the same thing again. They probably think, how can a bug this small really do any, any sort of damage? You know, they can't sting, they don't bite, they don't predate other insects, but they can congregate on plants, whether that be trees or bushes, crops even, and they begin to suck the sap right out of the plant. Now their favorite host plant is the Tree of Heaven, a tree that they interact with in their native range, but it has also been introduced to this area. So they love to congregate on that, but if they can't find that, they can feed on up to 173 species of plants, which makes them incredibly damaging, because those include all kinds of crops, uh, native trees, and if their numbers are high enough, they can destroy those. Now you might wonder why native animals aren't pitching in to help bring down the numbers of this pest. After all, it seems like a tasty snack for many different predators. And the reason might be the lanternfly's diet. Remember I said earlier, their favorite host is a plant called the Tree of Heaven. Well, this species is toxic. So as they feed on the sap, it's possible that they're actually sequestering those toxins in their body making themselves poisonous or at least foul-tasting. Even though these are an invasive species and quite damaging to have around, I have to say, these are beautiful insects. Look at the pattern that's on their wings. Uh, they have this sort of labyrinth pattern on the lower wing, and then they have the spots on the top. That's where you get the name spotted lanternfly. And then if we peel these back, you see the lower wings are an almost crimson red. That is beautiful. As this colorful but damaging insect continues to spread, its long-term effects remain to be seen, but it's a good reminder of the perils that invasive species can pose. When removed from their natural home, they are free from the checks and balances of the ecosystem that they belong to. And once that happens, their effects can be unpredictable. Ultimately, the spotted lanternfly is probably here to stay in places like New Jersey, where they've become established. 
But if you live somewhere where these bugs haven't spread to yet, and you have a sighting of one, report it to the proper authorities if you have the chance. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to subscribe to the channel and leave a like down below, and I'll see you in the next adventure on Nature Tales.